Hello, this is topic 4-2 on multiplying monomials. Very simple rule. When you're multiplying monomials with like variables, you add the exponents. So let's go ahead and do this. Well, 3 times 4 gives me 12. And n squared times n to the fourth would be 2 plus 4 gives me n to the sixth. Now the reason that works is this is really 3nn times 4nnnn. And 3 times 4 gave me 12. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 n's. So that's n to the sixth. I don't want to have to do this for everything, so um, I'll, I'll refer back to it, but you need to get in the habit of just adding your exponents. So come over here, and we're going to take negative 3 times 5. That's a negative 15. And then a squared times a give me a to the sixth. This is really a and a and then a, no, not a to the sixth, a to the third. Sorry, I'm still thinking of six from the problem earlier. This is just a to the third. And now this is b to the third and b to the fourth. Well, three plus four is seven. This is really b, 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 and b, 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 which makes seven. Now we come over here. I can multiply several things at once. Uh, 2 times, well this would be 1, times a negative 3 gives me a negative 6. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 a's. So it be a to the 4th. Then I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 b's. So it be b to the 7th. Notice I'm writing a little bit less each time. Well, this is kind of complicated. I kind of want to do this in multiple steps. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do 20 times 12. And that gives me 240. Over 3 times 5 is 15. And 240 over 15 equals 16. Kind of get that out of the way. And now I have x to the 2, x to the 3. I add those and get x to the 5th. And now y, well this is a y to the 1st because there was nothing there. So 5 plus 1 makes 6. Right, and now moving down here. Well this is a polynomial, not a monomial. Uh, so first I need to multiply this, then multiply that, and then see if I can add them. So let's have a look. 3 times a negative 2, well that's a negative 6. x to the 4th, x squared, make x to the 6th. y to the 6th times 1, y, or y to the 1st, is y to the 7th, plus. All right, well 8 times 1 just gives me 8 x cubed and x cubed give me x to the 6th. And y squared and y to the 5th give me y to the 7th. Now I need to look to see, can I add these? Well, x to the 6th, y to the 7th matches x to the 6th, y to the 7th. And because they match, I can go ahead and add them. And negative 6 plus 8 equals 2 x to the 6th, y to the 7th. Let's go ahead and move on. Right. Well, here I have a monomial and a polynomial. All right. So with this monomial and polynomial, I'm going to need to distribute. And so negative 6 
times t squared would give me negative uh, 6t to the third. Negative 6 times 5 gives me a negative 30. I have 1, 2 t's, so that's t squared. And a negative 6 times a negative 9 is a positive 54. I've got a t here, I've got nothing over here, so that would just be t. So a negative 6 t cubed minus a 30 t squared plus 54 t. Uh, make sure that you write your t's in such a way that they do not get confused with plus signs. Moving on to number 7. Again, I need to distribute. So p squared times p would give me p to the third. q to the third times q would give me q to the fourth. Well, there's no number, and there's a negative 2, so I'm just going to go ahead and put minus 2, because this is an invisible 1. So p squared times p squared is p to the fourth. And q to the third, q, is q to the fourth. And I look to see, can I combine these? Well, this is p to the third, q to the fourth. This is p to the fourth, q to the fourth. Well, these exponents are not the same. Therefore, I can't do anything with these. And so my answer remains the same. can't change it. Right, well, we've got another distributing problem. So I distribute. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. R and R squared make R to the third. S and S make S squared. Negative 3 times 12 is a negative 36. R, no R's. S, no S's. And now I throw in a t, because that t is here. Minus negative 3, uh, this is actually be plus, because negative times a negative make it positive. And 3 times 7 make 21 r s. Notice that if the letters weren't present, I just went ahead and copied them down. And this is of course, as simple as it gets. Because none of those terms, none of those monomials have the same variables. And now for our last example, we want to find the perimeter and the area. Well, this is obviously BC because that's BC. And this would be 3 BC. So if I want to find the perimeter, well, I've got 5BC plus BC plus BC plus 4BC plus 3BC. Well, that would also be 4BC plus BC plus BC. And if we add all those together, 5 plus 1, plus 1, plus 4, plus 3, plus 4, plus 1, plus 1, give us 20 BC. <coughs> now, if I'm the area, I need to break this into two rectangles. This first one will be uh, BC times 5 BC will give me 5 b squared, c squared. And this one would be 4 bc times 3 bc gives me 12 b squared, c squared. And when I add those two together, I get 17 b squared, c squared. And so that's the area of this uh, because 
we had to find the area of both rectangles and add those together. Good luck on your assignment and have a good day.